Oh, I thought you'd say that was. Lyric. I knew it was coming! I knew it was coming! Uh, sorry, uh, but Peter, did you not uh, require charcoal? Um, oh, I did need some ash, but I don't have any uh, leather on me to make a bag. Hmm. I have the sheep's hide we could probably do something with. It's got wool on it, though. We should probably get the wool off of it first. Uh, give me that, and I'll work on that uh, tonight, perhaps? I give him the sheep hide. All right. Uh, and then so you guys continue on? Yes. Uh, you guys continue on. Uh, there is, like, one area where it's, like, really steep to go down. Uh, but with, like, a, li a few slips here and there, you guys are fine. Um, and then another steep kind of hill to climb up. Not as steep as the last one, so you're able to walk it up normally. What well, does take a bit of time. And by the end of the next day... You guys, roughly, you guys, um, are you guys running? Would you say at this point? Uh, do we have a reason to run? Oh, I'm just asking. I don't want to insert myself. I'd walk. All right. Did you guys make it about? Okay. Yeah, you guys make it here. As you guys are walking, the sun is just about to set, and you stumble across. Um, from like the top, you guys see this on the top of the cliff. This. Hmm. A whole a house. And we, we're seeing this from the cliff. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I think we should, uh, investigate. That does, uh. Because that's the resources we need. It's certainly on the direction that we're heading, correct? Uh, yes. It's okay. within 50 blocks. I think we'll be okay if it's a little out of our way. <laughs> mm. Can we see anything from here before we go down? Can we see any movement or... There's a hole blown in the side and cobwebs. No one lives here. We can go down and investigate. It'll be okay. Perhaps, perhaps uh, some enemy has taken up residence. They could find better shelter in a cave. I do not see many caves in this area. Um, uh, anyway. I'm going to vote to... I would like to go down and continue, continue down the mountain and look at the house. Alright. Who's all going down investigating? Yep, Our let's men. go. While they're going down, I would like to take a look and see if I can see any movement around the house or anything. Any dangers or, um, try to get a feel of what the house is, uh, any occupancy or anything like that. Make a perception check. Uh, you'd have that. No, sorry. Yeah, just a straight perception check. That is a natural 20. You don't see any movement, however, behind the house, you notice there seems to be a small black dot. It's not moving or anything, but it doesn't look like it fits in. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's, it's not an Enderman. You, you're well aware what Enderman looks like. It's a bit smaller than what one would be. But it's, it's not moving, though. No. So, okay. Um, then I will follow down after them, uh, and it's behind the house. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I will I will follow down after them and say that uh, there does seem to be... It does look like there is uh, something beyond the house as well. Um are you going we to will go have to make sure we check out both. Mm. All right. Uh, I'll send you guys a picture of the inside of the house, which uh, I'm actually really proud of. Again, this is another thing I'm super proud of that I built. But out of character, was this the thing that you built really quickly? No. Oh. I built this earlier today at work. So that's the interior. Harmon, Harmon would like to go search the chests for uh, treasures. <laughs> you find nothing. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Harmon walks over to the bookshelf and looks to see if there are any books he can pull out and read. Uh, you can try. Uh, what's that, perception? Uh, no, you, I'm just gonna say you can just try and grab any of the books. There's no okay. rule to it. Okay, I walk over to the bookshelf and try to grab the books off the shelf. 
everyone that you tried to grab seemed so old it seemed to fall apart in your hands. Oh man, how could this book dust all over me? Uh, anything else you guys want to check out? Uh, um, these uh, vines, uh, could we harvest them and perhaps assist us on any future climbs? Make them into you, rope. You guys get about, I'm going to say, 10 feet of vines. Each or? Uh, in total. In total. Hey, well, I'm going to um, give the, the vine to the climber. So who's the best climber over here? Uh, Waldorf, Waldorf definitely is not the best climber. He fell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but to, to, to be fair, I was uh, quite exhausted from uh, the night before. I am sure Morden's uh, snoring had kept me up. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. It was Harmon's snoring that was uh, loud the last time. I don't it? snore. I am snoring. Harmon does not snore. But yes, I, I will hold on to the ropes. Uh, I, I think that... Uh, mm. uh, I would trust Peter with them more. Can, can well, I? Well, I. Go ahead. I guess I could take them. Hmm? Um, if, if you wish. Can we get any string out of these webs? Mm, yes, exactly my thought, good elf. I'm going to say no because those are all cobwebs. Okay. Hit him with an arrow. Um, your sword. Hit him with the sword. I, can I harvest uh, the, uh, the furnace there or the. The blast yeah. furnace. You right. do you want to harvest all the tools that are in here? Yeah, sure. Why not? You get a grindstone, a stone cutter, a blast furnace, and I'd like you to make a quick perception check. Perception. Him or all of us? Uh, just him. That'd be a thirteen. You, uh, you don't say anything. Are you guys? Are any of you guys gonna leave now that you think? You oh, it's a. Thing? Blast furnace, a, a stone cutter, and a grindstone. Stone I will cutter. peer out the back at the shape mm. that I saw behind the house. I it right. looks like there's a um, window out the back. There's a door out the there's back. There's a door. Oh, okay. The, the, and the a front window. door, sir. And, and, and two windows, yeah. Um, as you go to the window, I'd like you to make a perception check with advantage. Alright. <laughs> So that is a 23 and a 12, so. As you're kind of going to the stone, you notice that in the stone bricks, there's something that's off. Like a weird stone that doesn't fit. I, um, like it, um, doesn't fit like a trap or doesn't fit like it can be lifted up and moved? Doesn't fit like it looks off looks off oh out God. of character i guess we don't really have a thief to constantly be checking for traps do we you're the closest we have <laughs> we did kind of steal everyone's sanity so uh do i notice anything else about it does it um it just looks off it looks off yeah I will, I guess, do I just investigate further? I will try to lift the stone. Um, I'm going to say you try to pull it out and you notice that it is like a full contraption in there that you can get out. Uh, make a strength check. Nope, not that one. That one. That's a natural 20. You get this thing out easy. Um, and as you pull it out, you notice it has weird markings on each side of it, along with the flat pattern on the top. I'll send you a picture of it. Okay. Which is it a, is it a giant? Sorry, Pardon? is it a giant dice? No. Or a giant die? No. It's a lodestone. There you hmm. go. That is very interesting. Do I so um, the patterns are those patterns there, or are they something different than what's actually in the picture? It's that. That is what it is. Okay. Though I see a, like a bit more round and realistic looking. Mm. What have you but found, Waldorf? I, I am not uh, certain, or do I recognize it at all? Make a wisdom check. With advantage. With advantage. Uh, that's an 8. And a 7, or an 11. Mm. 
I am not uh, too sure. Uh, perhaps uh, one of you have uh, seen something similar. I found it over in the corner here, hidden uh, below the flagstones. Hmm. Can I do a wisdom check? How with advantage? With advantage. She really wants us to know. Oh, sorry, out of character, she really wants us to know what it is. I really do. I got a six. <laughs> I, with, with advantage. advantage? Yes. I would like oh, to I'm, investigate I'm, it too. Okay, here's the thing. For you, it looks super familiar. Like you, you know a rough thing of this, but you don't. You can't quite place what it is. Uh, and yeah, you can do an advantage. Oh, wi- or wisdom check once again. It's advantage. Uh, okay, everyone who has not rolled yet can roll with advantage. I really want you guys. I to will know roll this is. with advantage. Huh? <laughs> Eleven. This is horrible. Okay. The worst rolls of the night. <laughs> it's uh, the one thing I want you guys to know. I have a. 13. Oh my goodness. Perhaps you, we should... Okay, oh, sorry. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to say you know what it is. Kind of Yay, Peter, you figured it out. <laughs> you figured it out, Peter. Oh, man. We found Peter, out two guys in the bookshelf that was Matt Roxasly alive, or it's still intact. <laughs> you, you, figured it, your knowledge. you figured it out by me banging my head on Peter. it. Peter. Peter. Yes. As you're yes. looking at it, you kind of get this memory of working in this where of you remember you're wearing pure white in the memory don't and you remember you're actually next to you remember in this very faintly you're with someone who looks like morden but you aren't 100 percent. you can't 100 percent know for sure like it feels real but also feels like your brain could just be replacing it with a familiar face um and you remember working on a version of this with him um of what you guys called a lodestone. Essentially, uh, you guys know how lodestones work. Link a com- compass to it, and it will use the magnetic pull to direct you in that direction, in that way. That way. Hmm. Does, does this look uh, familiar to you, uh, good Peter? It's a lodestone. Um, we can uh, link a compass to it. Hmm. We have a compass. Interesting. I don't think we have one. Hmm. But perhaps we might find one uh, in our journeys. Um, hmm. Is this the sort of block that we would take with us, or would we leave it here, perhaps, to find this place uh, sometime uh, in the future? Your guys' call. You guys keep it or not. I see no reason to come back to this place. Might as well take it with us. Hmm. Uh, good Peter, would you uh, like to uh, hold on to this since uh, you seem to know the most about it? Um, I suppose so. Let's see. I guess out of character, it is something we can carry with us. Like, yeah, okay. it would fit in your inventory. Uh, you get one lodestone. What time um, of day is it? Right now, it's about sundown. Mm. We should probably camp here. This yes. would be good if we can fill up, uh, fix up some of these holes, and um, yes. it would be a most more comfortable place to rest. There's even a bed. Yeah. Is this bed any good? I haven't really looked at it. It's gonna, you can try to use it. Bed? It's going to crumble when you sit on it. I don't Maybe. even see a bed. It's right there. Where? Which? Oh, in the in the first picture. Yeah. Um. But do you want to try sitting in the bed or I'm laying not, in the bed? I try sitting in the bed. No. I think we'll wait. Um. Are we? Still however, in the we should. You're still in the we should also here. have a small fire. Does anyone have um, any logs to add to the fire? I'm running low on supplies. I have pressed a digitation that I could light it up with. I do have some logs. How many do we need? It takes about three logs for a good fire. Okay. Here we go. There's three logs. In the house, you also notice that there is a fireplace that mm. does seem to have some old logs in there. But you Ooh. can probably start a fire. Do that. Oh. That would be some yes. very, very but dry wood we would have there. Fireplace is much safer. Uh, good Peter, do you have materials to 
shore up these walls. Ah, yes. Uh, let's see. How many do you think we'll? How much do you think we'll need? Um, I have some cobblestone. I, I defer to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say roughly about a stack. Okay. Um, that'll leave me with. Six, seventeen. Okay, okay, let's block this stuff up quick. Indeed. <laughs> uh, okay, you guys block it up. Okay. okay. I wouldn't uh, mind taking a look at that object behind the house before um, before it gets too dark. I can probably just look through the window, correct? Um, I'm actually going to say you can't really tell what it is from the window. Okay. But we'll have to wait until morning, I guess. Okay. It's, it's not too far. Like, you could easily walk there and back within, like, five minutes. Like, not even five minutes. Like, two minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, then I, I would like to investigate the uh, object. While Morden and Pitaris are building the wall, I walk over the campfire and cast Prestidigitation on the logs in the fireplace to create a fire. Uh, fireplace is lit. Out of character. He should be making some magic sounds when he does that. Boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo -doo. Uh, anyway. Wait, hang on. I've got I've got magic sounds. Hold on, uh, I can do this real quick. Oh no. no. Uh, where is it? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I suggested it. Hang on, hang on. Uh, this is your fault. Which, which one? It's called... everything. Usually is his fault. <laughs> no, no. Well, meanwhile, while I'm waiting for him to figure out how to light that, um, I'm gonna try using my dagger, Kamara. To... Um, I, I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. Is it cool if we do Wilda first? Because he did start talking first, and I asked okay. Him. No, no, he can okay. last. <laughs> um. Anyway, Wilda, as you go outside to check this, this is a pitch black rose that seems to have almost smoke coming off of it. Do I know what it is, or do I know what it is? Make make a wisdom check. All right, that is a nineteen. Make a constitution saving throw. I'm not going to touch it. Oh, saving throw. You're not. Okay, that's the same anyways. So that's a 17. As you're looking at this, you slowly begin to remember something. You, as there's a suddenly like a sharp, quick pain in your head that subsides fairly quickly, you remember this to be dubbed as a withering rose. These things dropped whenever something you were working on killed a living thing though it seemingly only ever dropped when a living person was killed by it this flower was once a person I I will return to the group and um, gentlemen um, the, the the object that I spotted behind uh, this house uh I seem to recall it as being a wither rose. Wither uh, I do not know rose. if I, I do not know if uh, you if this is something that you are familiar with, but uh, it's it was it seems to be connected to the rest of our lost or my lost memories, but uh, it indicates great great danger. Well, remember that dream that I so eloquently uh, told the other day. It did mention a black creature that shot stuff at at me and it had like a single column black spine. Uh, could that be the wither? Out of character DM, did I recognize that as a being wither? Um, you don't know what the wither is, as it was not given a name when you were quote unquote previously alive. You're, you're still alive, you never died, but. When you, for as long as you remember, and before you kind of blacked out, it never had a name. Okay. It was just the thing. Mm hmm If you want, you can make a wisdom check to see if you know what it was. I will do that. Like, uh, why wisdom. it existed. Thirteen. I'm going to say, you know that you created it. It wasn't natural. And all you do remember is this vague feeling of 
almost obsession. I don't remember what the obsession was about or where it came from. So I created remember... this thing, but I don't know what this thing is. Right? You don't know if you created it or not, but you do remember it was created and you do remember the feeling of obsession in regards to it. Okay. Hmm. Well, I I don't really know what would have created this robes then. I thought maybe I had an inkling, but things are it seemed, to be seen. It seems to be just at the edge of all of our recollection. Yes. But I do feel that it was something of great danger that would create these roses uh, once it killed a living being. Wait, out of character? Shouldn't he be taking damage because he's near with a rose? Uh, you only take damage if you're actively touching it. He made He told me he was not touching it. So he oh, would not be okay. taking damage. Alright. And then what do you wish to do? It's now nightfall. And you just kind of saw this thing. I will say though the house looks old and as though no one's been here for a long time. So oh. like the the wood's rotting, there's cobwebs everywhere, vines have been glowing growing clearly for a long time. Have we searched the whole house? Uh, I'm gonna say you did. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's a sm it's a small cabin, really. It's just a hunter's cabin. Okay. I um, believe uh, Peter had something he was going to work on oh, tonight. Right. What you working on, Peter? Oops. Lost him. Hello? Is the mic off? Peter. Oh, I want to shave the uh, <laughs> wool. <laughs> I want to shave the wool off this sheep hide. Okay. And um, I'd like to make a very small bag from a piece of it. Um... Just enough to hold some spell casting materials. Okay. Uh, I'll say I allow that, but I'd like you to get rid of um, three pieces of string and make a sleight of hand check. Okay. This is just to test the craftsmanship of it and if there's any holes in it. <laughs> oh, well, I am proficient in leatherworking. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Get rid of three pieces of string and do what? Uh, make a sleight of hand check. Ooh. That is an eight. Uh, there's a giant hole in the bottom of it. <laughs> you you, for, you forgot to uh, knot the string before sewing it. How did I do that? Ugh. It's not so much a bag as it is a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good sir, it looks like will, uh, yeah. you've you've made some errors. Would would you like some help crafting your pouch? Ah, uh, sure. Slide a hand check. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> it's a little bit better, <laughs> though. It does look like it will fall apart the moment something goes in it. <laughs> Uh, good, 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 gentlemen. Uh, I see that you are attempting uh, some sewing. Uh, as, as a monk, it has been much uh, my um, my uh, duty to uh, repair old and uh, mm -hmm. a raggedy clothing uh, for the me. other monks. Um, I sh shall attempt to uh, perhaps. Uh, Can I give him bardic inspiration? Down? Can I give him bardic inspiration as he tries this? <laughs> Just to make a pouch. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I give I give Bardic Inspiration to Waldorf as he attempts to uh, sew this bag, which gives him an additional 1d6 for, for And I, I will say uh, he has advantage because the bag pretty much has been made. He's just like pretty much reinforcing it. <laughs> uh, okay, so sleight of hand with bag. advantage. Make the Tear bag. Plus, Make the plus bag. Uh, Bardic Inspiration. Holy <laughs> cow, so that's an 8. And um, I'll roll your d6. Oh, wait, do I roll his d6 or does he, he roll? He does. So You're 15 up. is with advantage. And then roll a d6. Roll Hello? a d6. Oh, I, I thought Jay said he was going to roll. No, no, you roll it. 
Okay. You roll, it's your Just dice. a d6. It's, yeah. your, it's your inspiration. You're inspired to sow this bag correctly. A two, so that's an 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, the that's a 17. Made. That's a 17. The bag's made, the bag's made, it's fine, we're moving on. Woohoo, yay! <laughs> we have a celebratory... Uh, Woohoo! That was, that was <laughs> even better than trying to climb the, the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm gonna place my hand on the pouch and say we have all helped craft this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful little pouch. May it forever bless your work. It was Peter. a group project. <laughs> <laughs> this whole team bonding experience. But perhaps the the bard can craft a a, a, a epic tale about the, uh, <laughs> the making of the bag. <laughs> There once was a bag in our hand. It was made by each and every man. <laughs> uh, with a group of us four, uh, we completed a Three. chore. And so now we people. have a bag in our hand. <laughs> no, There's was, was only three people. No, he inspired him. <laughs> yeah, he, he helped. He oh, right. Yeah, so it was a group effort. <laughs> Fair it was. <laughs> Oh my god, that was um, that was more painful than the rock climbing. I, it was, it was, it was, but it was better than the rock a, climbing. It was so much better. <laughs> I will say this, good Peter, I would not ask Kiana to judge us. It will go badly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's about twelve minutes to any really to end session. Do you want to end it now while we're, we're everyone's heading to bed, or? It would probably be well. Either that, or we end it the first thing in the morning. Like, uh, we can do that if you guys want. Yeah, yeah, that's a good time. Although I don't feel uh, tired. The levity so I, of this I will bag do a full is... rest, which is the half rest. I'll do a half I, I rest. Know, I know. Peter's doing the same thing. Okay, I'm just gonna say everyone does their thing. Uh, a long sleep. I want to do a short sleep. I've got no reason to do a long sleep. Do you well, want to can... do? It? Okay, here's the guard, thing. You can guard the area then. You've been hiking up mountains for the past like twelve hours straight. Uh, Any anyone nothing. would be exhausted. You you can take a short rest, but there I will say there will be consequences. Ah, fine. I mean, no, no, no it's fine. You already made the decision. No, no, no. Cool. no, it's cool. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make two short rests no, in a row. No. Too late. <laughs> Did one short rest. And now another short rest, please. <laughs> okay, you get your long rest. <laughs> Technically, any rest he takes would be a short rest because he's wow. a Uh Just a moment. What uh, do I have in my inventory uh, I can right. throw at him? Uh, no more puns, or I'll used to get silver, silver muted like him. <laughs> Good. I don't have to throw anything okay, at him. He's on, he's, you're unmuted. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> what are you talking back. about? That was, a, that was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I thought that you'd was say that was. Lyric. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh. <laughs> we should, next, uh... next step, I'm just leaving. <laughs> Gonna cut the whole campaign. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. Here goes. Uh. Did uh, did the elves want to do anything in the morning? I will once again attempt to get more information through meditation about the situation. You're gonna get brain damage. You are at this point. You, you, you I, I, I figured out as you, much as I can. Do you, do, you, do you know what the definition of insanity is? Uh huh. Doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, make a wisdom check. I knew yeah. he was insane. I knew it. Or am I just extra sane? Holy cow! That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just nothing. It's book. You like. You, you zoned out, man. <laughs> you, At least it you, wasn't you a natural to... one. <laughs> it's, it's not good either. You, no. you, like every time you tried to focus, like at one point you got chills. Then you got like then you had to sneeze. And you like had to have <laughs> sneeze for like a, like a twenty minutes. And then like you start thought you heard something. It more and, and than then, disturbed and, me by waking up and then going back to sleep again. <laughs> Then people start snoring, and then they weren't snoring, and then you start, start thinking about the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should name the bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please name it's, the bag. I it's love our the bag. it's our child now. Is the, the bag a, is the bag a character? The bag might get its we, we, own storyline. We, we could call, story we could line. call it uh, um, uh, uh, something Baggins, but uh, Bilbo, yeah. <laughs> but not Bilbo. It can't be Bilbo. Um, <laughs> 
Clutch, some, clutch. It's clutchy baggins. Right something on the, the tip of my tongue. Um, clutchy baggins. I don't know about clutchy. Something about the sheep or... Um, <laughs> We could just call it Baggins. I think <laughs> that might be the best. I can't. I, there's something there, but I just can't can't think of it right now. You can rename it later. It's not required unless it's <laughs> etching into the bag. <laughs> I'm not education. etching anything into this. It'll probably break it. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us something. Please tell us to take a Wilson or something. Mm -hmm. I'd like to, <laughs> to, to I, would, I would like to take a piece of my coal, rub it on my hand, and place it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. You can't put it on the bag. You gotta go in the bag. <laughs> I'm not putting my hand in no. your bag. No, I he's, have, he's have... putting it he's putting a handprint on it. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna act. I'm, I'm drawing this. I'm just gonna say that right now. Mm -hmm. The bag is the most important thing on the quest right now. This is like my. This so far, it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> I, 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 you know, as far as I'm concerned, the quest is over. Yeah, right? we, we we have baggins. We've accomplished it. We, we you guys got baggins. I only needed a bag big enough to hold a pinch of stuff. <laughs> well, that, that, your first mistake was using the sheep leather to do that. That's yeah, no, you have a thing. you have a decently sized bag now. It'll hold the pinch. <laughs> it was definitely hold. <laughs> um, wow. anyway. Wow. Uh, I, I'm gonna say that, um, everyone then kinda wakes up unless the other elf wants to do anything. I would like to say good morning to the bag. <laughs> the I'd like to extinguish the fire, collect just a very small amount of the ash from it, and put it in the bag. <laughs> you now have ash. Yay. <laughs> Quest complete. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> then I have to think about where I can find some salt. Hmm. In a world where there are no people around, where would you find a seasoning? Well, salt does occur naturally. Yes. Well, it, depends which type of year. well it depends what you're looking, because that would de or what you're looking for, because then it would t depend on the time of year. You could grab a bucket of uh, ocean water Let's and boil ocean. it until all the water boils out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're looking for seasons, then um, you get, you get somewhere. <laughs> in okay, who's with the dad jokes now? Wow, I, that no, sounded I admit like I old of. Dad jokes. Mm. I admit I tell dad jokes. I love them. Yes, we should keep our eyes uh, out for a uh, ocean then, if you need salt. Or somewhere where there used to be an ocean, because mm. that'd be even easier. Mm, that is a very smart decision, Mr. Peter. We're not likely to find an ocean in the mountains, though. 